Hi guys, welcome to uh, Handy PC Tuts. Today we're going to be looking at a website as opposed to an actual piece of software we have to download. Uh, it's going to save a little bit of hard drive space for you guys. And uh, I think it's quite useful to know. Um, today we're going to be looking at a website called www.speedtest.net. Uh, it allows us to obviously test the speed of our internet. Um, uh, that can be helpful, it, it tests your ping, your upload and download speeds as well. It can be useful so you know what kind of uh, download rate you're going to be getting, how quickly you'll be able to download something off the internet. So uh, if you're going to download something off of the iPlayer for example, um, it lets you know how roughly, you could work out how roughly how long it's going to take. Um, so if we open up our web browser of choice and we log on to speedtest.net, you can see it's already open here. Uh, as you can see, it's very sort of matrixy, minority report, Star Trek, Star Wars themed, the uh, user interface. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this website, and I almost didn't do this video because of it, is all the crud which is around the actual uh, <laughs> speed checker itself. So we've got here, test your connection, then get a faster web browser, and test PC speed, and all this stuff down here. This is all garbage. This is an advert for Chrome. Uh, which is fine. If I worked at Google and found out these guys were doing this, I would not be impressed. Um, this is all rubbish. Like, this, this is not going to test anything. It's going to do more harm than good. Don't click on the side panel or the top here. Just concentrate on this main window and uh, and you'll be fine. Okay, so how do we use uh, speedtest.net? Basically, on the left-hand side of this top window here, you've got a zoom bar to zoom in and out, make it easier for you to navigate. And on the bottom panel, you have got a map of the world and then you just click on this little green uh, aiming box and you can target specific servers that are near you so you're going to want to click on one of the white dots which is closest to your home uh, I live just south of London so we will click on here you will scroll whoa okay we will go over here a little bit and up okay so here's London we will click on uh, Nemesco We'll click on this one. Once I click on this box here, it will start the test. So we'll just click there. Here we go. So I'm apparently in uh, the middle of England, and there's a Egyptian pyramid that's going to send some kind of orb towards me. Uh, and this is going to test our internet connection. Uh, so you can see already our ping has come back with 128 milliseconds. And now it's going to test our uh, download speed, and then it's going to do our upload speed as well. I'm currently... Uh, uploading something to YouTube and downloading something else, so these results aren't going to be um, uh, as good as they could be. I also think my brother's playing on Xbox and my mum's using the internet as well, so yeah, these aren't going to be brilliant results, but they'll be good enough to give you an idea of what it can do. So we're just waiting for the upload speed to come back to us now. And as you can see, uh, 3.16 megabytes per second, uh, megabits per second, sorry. For our download rate and what points one six, these are these are pretty shocking results here. Um, unfortunately, in this country, in the UK, we don't have the best internet connection uh, available. Uh, com countries like Japan and America have much faster speeds and stuff. Uh, it's just the nature of living in a country that had its infrastructure built a hundred years ago. Unfortunately, um, I think Virgin are one of the only companies in this country that sell fiber optic broadband. So if you're interested in a super fast speed, then it's in definitely worth having a look at that. Um, it's about £450 a year though for fibre optic broadband. But again, if you really do need the speed, then it is there for you. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. There's not much to say. Um, you can compare your results with other people here. You can uh, contribute to the uh, index by leaving your results. Um, there's also a link here f for a mobile version of the speed test, uh, which you can get for your iOS, iOS device or your Android smartphone. So yeah, that was uh, speedtest.net. I don't think there's much else to say. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe the video to, uh, to the channel. It will help uh, us get noticed, and obviously, if there's any new videos, you'll get notified. Um, but yeah, I think we learned something. Just remember not to click on those uh, shoddy links on the main page there, because they might get you in some trouble. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you soon.